Hey, Water Signs, it's your girl Dominique with Empathic Guidance, and I'm back with your weekly tarot tea for the week, okay, of the 9th through the 13th. Recognize that energy is definitely fluid, so even though I'm definitely saying this is marked for this week, Monday through Friday, and what could be possibly going on in your love life, Cancer, Scorpio, and Pisces, this definitely can extend out past this week. It definitely can be for any of the month of September, So, or it can even extend out past that. Just keep checking back. Sometimes you'll see that stuff is future predictions. They could be talking about what's going on in your life right now at this moment. Or it could be talking about past energy. Maybe it's something that you didn't quite have clarity on that went on in the past. So that's where you'll get that past energy. Giving you new information that maybe you didn't know before. So also, if I'm prominent, if the energy that I'm prominently mentioning is the one of your partner and not yours, just go ahead and switch energies because realize that this is your reading. You're supposed to be the star of your show. So if your ex or your current partner takes over, it's not my fault. Just know that Spirit wanted you to hear a message from their perspective, okay? All right. For the elements of water, that's Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. For the week of the 9th through the 13th, can I please get messages regarding love? Wow. Ooh, did you guys just have some kind of painful ending? I did do a pre-shuffle for you guys, and it definitely was looking like um, your partner was being a bit selfish. It looked like, ooh, yes, it looked like you was chasing somebody that was out of your league. And you felt like they were out of your league. And the reason why was because this person had their eye on somebody else. And you could perceive that person as more attractive than you or whatnot. Because they came up as the queen of wands right next to the king of pentacles in reverse. So you could be dealing with an earth sign. And yes, this is you going back and forth in your mind. Like, do I even continue to pursue this? Or it could be this person too. Or is it over with the world card here? You know, so here is this person. This person could have just decided to go ahead and drop the ball on you. Your situ the situation with you, because maybe they've been sneaking and creeping and cheating for a long time to try to avoid breaking your heart. And they just came to the decision that it's better to come out with it. Yeah. You were hyper vigilant anyway, kind of watching the situation unfold, maybe through social media. You know, even as far as following this person, asking friends, getting a private investigator. But in the end, this is something that ended up hurting you greatly and deeply. Don't ever feel like somebody is out of your league. I'll tell you that much. Maybe this person said something or did something to make you feel to that level of lacking. Yeah. It looks like you gave generously to this. Maybe it started out as an uh, equal give and take. Yeah. From the six to the seven, you guys were progressing forward. Hmm. This is crazy. Yeah, here you go. Ooh, here you are. Up against the new lover. The Queen of Cups, the one that loves him versus the one that arouses him. And so maybe you perceive this energy is more attractive than you. Maybe you're more classy and reserved. Maybe you're more full, full of emotion than you are sex driven. And that's what got this king in his reverse position. He's even in, in the element of her. The same element as them. It's looking like this is the end of a cycle, especially with the world and the Ten of Swords. So you could have even got left behind for this person at this time. And so maybe that's what's, what's doubting, uh, what's making you doubt yourself with this magician in reverse here. And making you feel like you out of your his league. Like how did, how did we go from building equal giving and taking and having a promising future 
to this person subtly interfering. And this person literally could have um, lured your partner away from the situation. One more card for Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Water Signs from the 9th to the 13th of September. Please, Spirit. Water Signs. Weekly Energy from the 9th to the 13th. Yeah, you didn't want this thing to end. You were trying to resist this, even though you haven't been happy, you know, trying to resist walking away. Or you maybe you even tried to walk away and you can't. You just want to work it out. Yeah. But it's looking like this person got a new beginning that they want to start working on without you. Could be dealing with a Taurus. The hierophant just fell out out of nowhere. You guys could also be married in this situation. Yeah. It's looking like one of you guys are getting turned down in this situation. And let's see which. But yeah, with the hierophant being here, it's definitely a marriage here. And I think that that's also why this six, seven, ace of pentacles and hierophant is here. Because at the same time, it could be this person trying to resurrect it with you, trying to give you a new offer. You know, maybe they had some kind of brief affair with somebody who they couldn't keep their eyeballs in their head with. Yeah, yes. Oh my gosh. So it's been a painful ending, but this person wants the stability back. I think you guys had a time apart, honestly. Why is the magician here in reverse spirit? I feel like that's a lack of confidence on your end. Feeling like you can't manifest this back together or this could be your partner. You know, but somebody feel like this is to the point of no return. Water signs, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces for the week of the 9th through the 13th. Why is the magician in the reverse here? Why is the magician in the reverse here? Why is the magician here in reverse? with you this could have been even this person manipulating <laughs> yes it was oh your person started being insincere towards you oh you know what i'm getting on the outside this is how everything was looking when on the inside this is how things really are and I think that this person is finally deciding to come forth with the truth and drop one of the two energies, which could be you or it could be their mistress. Oh, yes. It's looking like this person is dropping that outside person because they want to rebuild your happiness and stability. Wow. Okay. That's a good turn for the craziness. And it's looking like that's the end of that cycle. Like maybe this was just some fleeting crush or some temptation that your, you know, your husband or wife couldn't resist. The world. Why is the world here? Mm -hmm. Why is the world here? The um, emperor in reverse almost came out, so I feel like it's the end to this out of control behavior on your on the uh, masculine energy's behalf. Because the masculine energy is not on the board; it's literally just the king, the queen of wands, and the queen of cups, and they back to back. Like you could tell, they competition, like you know. But it's looking like. This marriage doesn't want to come to an end because I still see the hierophant in the upright, the death in reverse, you know, the fact that two, two people can't walk away from each other emotionally. So why is the world card here when it comes to water signs? Yeah, you guys are deciding to fight for this. Why is the seven of swords here in reverse? Mm-hmm, that secret is over with. That secret came out. 
Why is the princess swords in reverse? And you could have really found it out for yourself, honestly, and kept it a secret, like kept it to yourself. And then this person ended up coming to confess it to you before you could even, yeah. <laughs> you was watching because you knew. You know, their behavior, their change in behavior had you paranoid. So why is the Six of Cups here? I mean, Six of Pentacles. I think the Six of Pentacles, the Six, the Six, the Seventh, and the Six of Pentacles, the Seven of Pentacles, yes. This person want to start over. And this time around, they want to give what they wasn't given before. For sure. Wow. Why is the Seven of Pentacles here for water signs, sun, moon, and rising for the weeks of the 9th through the 13th of September? Weekly energy for water signs, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Again, you two can't walk away from each other, period. Period. <sighs> yeah. I think you're dealing with a Taurus for sure. And this Taurus, whether it be male or female, was definitely being unfaithful. But they can't walk away from you. And they realize that their happiness is happiness and stability is right here at home. So this person is a, trying to avoid a breakup, avoid an ending, avoid a divorce. Even though they did have some kind of debacle on the outside. Y'all, this to me is just screaming like they thought the grass was greener on the outside. And that's why they was getting sassy with you. Because they was looking out into the horizon of what they could have instead of what they do have. Why is the Hierophant here? I really feel like because this is person don't want to get a divorce. Why is the Hierophant here for water signs, sun, moon, and rising from the 9th to the 13th? Y'all, <laughs> he was in the reverse. Now here he is looking back at the situation because in truth, in reality, he codependent on you. He emotionally codependent on you. Um, You honestly could have depend on him for money, but he want to come forth and be honest. He want to give you the clarity that you need. So let's clarify this Queen of Wands. Why is this Queen of Wands here for water signs? Oh, Queen of Wands in reverse. Yeah, see, this person was looking mighty good. Yeah, grass green to tell you on the other side. This person was looking all confident, alluring, sexy. They got to know that girl and was turned the fuck off like, oh, not what I thought. Back home to my wife. Bye. Okay, so de let's definitely get what the Queen of Cups is here for. Mm. Yup, this was the one that got hurt. This was wifey. Queen of Swords got hurt in this situation. But this Queen of Wands, it looks like things are being left behind with that energy. Especially with the Three of Cups in reverse crowning and the Two of Pentacles in reverse here in the reading. So, why is the Death card here? In reverse. The sun in reverse. This person, wow, your king of cups. They are trying, wow. It's looking like they was blinded before. It's looking like they didn't realize how much they loved you until they stepped over the line to somebody else's lawn. To see that, hey, this Queen of Wands is really a Queen of Wands in reverse. They not as all that as they showed up in the beginning to get his attention. So now he wants to restore the happiness in this situation with the Knight of Pentacles and the Sun card in reverse. He's trying to turn this situation back around for the happiness. That's the reason why he's trying to avoid the breakup. He wants to fix it instead. The breakup, the, the divorce. Eight of Cups in reverse. Yeah, this person don't want to let go. 
Or if it, they could be letting go of an earth sign. I do think it could be an earth sign or a fire sign that they could have been chasing before because it is a lot of earth here. If not, they could be a Taurus. But, you know, they, they just letting go of their miser ways, like just being selfish, stingy, looking out for themselves, using their, you know, their money or using their success to abuse the situation and kind of like make it go in their favor because they like, okay, well, I'm the one with money. So everybody's going to play by my rules. Now we're seeing that that don't happen. Like, yeah, you can leave and go be with another woman, but that doesn't mean that they're going to make you as happy as I do. You know, so let me definitely get some advice cards for water signs. Water signs, sun, moon, and rising. Water signs, sun, moon, and rising from the 9th to the 13th. Love, weekly energy. That weekly tarot tea. <laughs> let's see, let's get some advice. Any messages for water signs, spirit? Tick tock, okay? You only got a certain limit of time or this could be for your partner to realize that they need to get a leg up. You know, they need to catch up in the situation and do what they have to do. Come to the edge. I feel like they already did that. And that's definitely what caused a rift between them is because they was walking on the edge, kind of feeding their sensuality and their sexuality. And now somehow they gotta get themselves up out of this situation. We gotta imagine at the bottom of the deck. So, you know, this person, I really feel like, you know, maybe they this was a fantasy for them. This was something they couldn't avoid doing, but at the same time, now that they're away from you, they can't imagine themselves being without you. So now I am going to pull a couple of affirmation cards for you guys from the wood deck is this Heart's Thoughts by Louise Hay. I get some affirmation cards for water signs, Cancer Scorpio Pisces. From the 9th to the 13th. When new doors, oh, I open new doors to life. I trust that the inner guide is leading me and guiding me in ways that are best for me. My spiritual growth is continuously expanding. And then you guys got, I am a harmonious being. So that could be why this person wanted to be back with you. Maybe, you know, they thought they wanted to be with that fiery energy, all uh, firecracker and shit. Then they got over there, couldn't even handle that. And everything I do say or think in, uh, is in harmony with the truth. There is perfect and continuous right actions in my life and affairs. Let's pull one more. I'm noticing how with each element... Y'all have y'all own colors. Y'all is like pink. Fire signs got a bunch of baby blue, like powdery blue cards. All changes are easy for me to make. Okay. So that means you're flexible. The moment I am willing to change, the universe begins to help me. And it brings me whatever I need. Okay, so, and maybe that's the thing. Maybe by you not clinging on, you know, after you found out that this person went, went to go see about somebody else, maybe you let them go. And maybe that's what brought them back to you because they seen the self-love and self-respect you have for yourself to not chase after them or try to stop them from leaving. You like, okay, bye. You want somebody else? Because you already had the confidence that you the best woman that they'll ever meet. And with that, that kind of stuck with them too. Like, damn, she didn't even chase after me and now here they are back because they realized that the grass wasn't really greener on the other side so go ahead and do me a favor with water signs if you guys aren't already subscribed to empathic guidance please go ahead and do so by hitting that subscribe button that post notification bell liking my video commenting down below telling your friends and your family about my channel and i'll see you guys on the next video ciao